Hey guys, it's Dave here from Whiskey Blooded. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, so we're going to do our normal thing and review some whiskey. Um, thanks for joining me again here today. Um, sorry that I missed on Friday. I promised that I'd be doing a Friday Rye Day. Uh, <laughs> my stupid name for doing something on a Friday. I've been trying to do this for a while, but the one bottle I wanted to pick up of Rye, it's a very common one, but it was sold out near me at my party store that I usually go to um, right by my work. And it's a very good party store, but unfortunately the one bottle I wanted to review by doing rye um, wasn't there. And I know it's one that you guys really probably would have wanted me to review if I was doing an essential rye video. So I promise that'll be coming soon, basically as soon as they're back in stock of that, plus something else that I thought of. It's probably going to be about four or five different ones. So once again, apologies for that, but today we're back. We're doing bourbon, we're doing this bottle, uh, which is showing up near you guys, and you're probably thinking, is this worth 40 or 50 bucks? Um, so this is the Calmet Farm Bourbon Whiskey. It comes in this, I don't know how you would describe this, heart-shaped, almost? Heart-shaped whiskey bottle, very much reminiscent of the 1792 bottle. So this is, and I'm sorry for the glare here, I'm still getting used to doing this in my office, but this is the Calmet Farm Bourbon Whiskey, it is something, like I said, that's probably a little newer for you guys. So you're thinking, should I buy it? And that's what I was thinking, and I went through this whole thing, and I've been trying it, and then I put it on a shelf for a month, and then I tried it again a couple weeks ago, and now I'm trying it again tonight. So, this is my third tasting. Let's see what the Calumet Farm Bourbon Whiskey bottle will do for me. So, normal format, we're going to talk about it. Quick color, quick nose, tasting notes, and then a score. So what is this bottle? Who is this company? What are they doing? So Calumet Farm, from my understanding, was a, and still I believe is, uh, a very famous horse racing farm. Basically they, they breed and they raise horses there. And they won a significant amount of Kentucky Derbies. And I would like to say that being a bourbon person, that I go to the Kentucky Derby, I've never been. I've never even been to Kentucky. It's one of my things that I want to do um, this year, next year, so that I can actually say that I've done the tours and all that stuff. So um, they are great at uh, bringing up horses and, and, and winning races. Are they good at making bourbon or selecting bourbon or distilling bourbon? Um, that's something to be found out here in a minute. So I've already poured myself a drink. Let's take a look at the Calumet Farm of Bourbon Whiskey. So once again, a bottle here. Cool bottle. Actually, a really freaking cool bottle. I like these 1792 smile style, like smaller bottles. I I don't like bottles that are really, really long and like, you know, uh, when I say long, there we go, like this big. Um, I don't like the wine size bourbon bottles like High West does. I like like the short, like glass, uh, you know, got a neat etching on it kind of bottle. So here's the color to get behind this. You know, it's it's pretty dark, um, especially from something like this. I would, I would assume that this is lighter stuff, but um, it's pretty dark. It comes through, uh, as far as proof goes, this is 43%, 86 proof, but it must be aged a little bit because it, it's about the same color as like a Maker's 46. So I, I want to put this about four to six years. Um, I, I, it's no age statement, um, so they might be mixing a couple uh, barrels or batches here, but um, 46, or I'm sorry, 4 to 6 age statement. So, you know, color is actually pretty dark. Uh, it's like a it's like a penny color, like a dark penny, like an older penny. And as far as the, like, copper, as far as the taste, or I'm sorry, the nose goes, it's got a really good nose. Um... And to, not to allude to what I'm about to say, but the taste isn't that great. Um, it's got a fantastic nose. You know, when I smell it, it reminds me of like a, a really good bottle, like a really good batch of, for example, like Elijah Craig 12-year-old. You're getting oak and um, you're getting a, a lot of oak. You're getting a lot of honey. You're getting toasted oak. You're getting a little bit of char. You're getting spicy white pepper, um, maybe a tiny bit of black pepper, a little bit of darker candy, um, like a dried um, fig. Um, 
it's really quite interesting on the nose. I think the pepper is what does it. I mean, pepper smells good, so why, why wouldn't we want to then drink that? But when you taste it, all of those smells, they don't come together like you would think that they would. I mean, it's not terrible. It's, I, think I, I think I paid $45 for this. It's not worth $45. I'll put it to you that way. But it, you know, four to six year old bourbon, 40, 50 bucks, cool bottle. Um, complex, but not balanced. So right up front, you're going to get this, the initial hit of a little bit of oak. Um, right, off the, right off the bat, you're getting that, that pepper spice. In the mid, you're getting a little bit of honey butterscotch and then it's just followed back by an overly oaky wood not even oaky I don't want to say oaky woody woody earthy mellow unbalanced finish the finish ruins this bottle but up front it's really not that bad it's just between the pepper and the fruit and the everything this has going on, the balance just isn't there. Um, maybe, I think this would be a great bottle if it sat and aged for 10 years. I think it'd be great. Uh, and I could be wrong here too. I've, I, I usually don't Google things before I review them, so this could be a 10 year old, but it doesn't taste like it. It tastes like a four year old bourbon. So what do I think of Calumet Farm? I think it's an upside down number. I think 70 out of 100. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this at a 70 out of 100, just not balanced enough and not aged enough. Give it a little more time in the barrel. Don't screw with this bottle. Um, put a freaking age statement on it. I don't like this no age statement stuff. Just put an age statement on it uh, if you can. Um, and then maybe, you know, just hand select the barrels a little bit carefuler, more caref carefuler, more carefully. Um, because I think that would do it a lot of justice. I think that if they balance this a little better, it'd be really good. But would I waste $45 on it again? No, that's why in the last three months, actually, I think I've had this bottle for six months. I've drank not even, not even an eighth of the bottle. So you guys always say review something that is not your favorite or review something that you don't think is good. This, I'm not going to say it's terrible. It's got a C minus, uh, which was my grades for like a year of college. <laughs> so uh, it's okay though. Um, just, you know, pick it up as a novelty item basically. Um, if you have any questions about this bottle, I know that a couple of you guys were looking for uh, reviews on Makers 46 and a couple of you guys were looking for reviews on some Wild Turkey products. So um, this Friday, um, I should, assuming my party store gets the stuff in stock, I should be able to do Friday Ride. And I promise if it's not this week, I'll do it in one of these weeks coming up for those of you rye drinkers. And um, next week, I'm either going to do the Wild Turkey or the Makers. I've got both bottles here at home. Um, I like both bottles. I just didn't want to do another bottle that I really like. I wanted to do one that I didn't like this week. So next week, it'll be Makers 46. Or um, I'm probably going to do like uh, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit or something like that. Um, and let you guys know what I think of that. And they're both good bottles, so they should be good reviews. But I wanted to do something I didn't like this week. So let me know what you think. If you really like this bottle and you think I'm wrong, I would like to know what you think is great about it um, because this is something I want to like. I just can't. So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks again for watching Whiskey Blooded. Sorry to run a couple minutes over tonight. Um, if you have any questions and uh, if you have any comments, you can always visit the website at Whiskey Blooded in the comments section. Uh, like or subscribe to the video. Thanks again. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I uh, will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.